Surprise, surprise, LA Knight did it again. In this video, I'm going to break it down. LA Knight, superstar, megastar, yeah! It doesn't matter whether he's on Raw, SmackDown, premium live events, or your local house show. LA Knight gets a response. He gets a response from the fans in attendance. He gets a fan. He gets a response and a reaction from those on social media. LA Knight, in a lot of ways, is very controversial. and. I think this backs this up because when you talk about LA Knight, you have those who believe in him and you have those who doubt him. You have LA Knight supporters and you have LA Knight haters. And it doesn't matter where he is on the court. It doesn't matter whether he's wrestling, whether he's talking, or whether he's just shown in the background. Either way, he gets a response. He gets a reaction from people. And that's the beauty of LA Knight. He's been paired with the likes of John Cena, who in his most recent run really put over L.A. Knight. He teamed with him, right? Uh, payback or Fastlane, I believe. That speaks volumes to not only what the company thinks of L.A. Knight, but what someone like John Cena thinks of L.A. Knight. And this stat that I'm about to get into brings that up. It backs that up. Because what LA Knight can do in the future is something that not everyone can do. And I understand that, yes, WB booked him to lose to Roman Reigns at Crown Jewel. I get that. But it's okay. It wasn't his time to shine just yet. We knew that going in. We knew that coming out. So what's the stat I'm talking about? Well, Russell Nomitz, Brandon Thurston, he put together the top 10 merchandise sellers in the month of November 2023. And guess who was at the top of that list? Yeah, that was LA Knight. So you had Judgment Day at number 10. You had Roman Reigns at number 9. You had WWE at number 8. Rhea Ripley, number 7. The late, great Bray Wyatt, number 6. Hall of Famer Stone Cold Steve Austin at number 5. John Cena at number 4. Jey Uso at number 3. And the American Nightmare himself, Cody Rhodes, at number 2. Ironically, who had the number one selling t-shirt in the month of November? L.A. Knight. And it was his, yeah, shirt. At number four, he had, let me talk to you, t-shirt. At number six, he had the, yeah, in yellow. Okay. Number two, you had Jey Uso with the main event. You had the Rock versus Steve Austin. I think ugly sweatshirt at number three. You had uh, at number five, you had John Cena never give up. Number seven, you had Cody Rhodes's claim your kingdom flames t-shirt. Number eight, you had Roman Reigns's greatness amongst you goat t-shirt. And number nine, you had the Jey Uso yeet t-shirt, which has since been removed due to trademark infringement. Okay. That is very interesting. Here's another stat from January to November, 2023. LA Knight was number three among the top merch sellers in the company. At number 10, you had the Usos. Number nine, you had Rhea Ripley. Number eight, you had Eddie Guerrero. Number seven, WB. Six, NWO. Number five, Roman Reigns. Number four, John Cena. Obviously, LA Knight at number three. Stone Cold Steve Austin, number two. And Cody Rhodes at number one. Here's some more stats for you. In that same time period, January to November of this year, LA Knight. He was in the top 10 a few different times, okay? Number 10, you had LA Knight. Nine, John Cena. Number eight, Steve Austin. Number seven, John Cena. Number six, Rhea Ripley. Number five, LA Knight again. Number four, Cody Rhodes. Number three, Seth Rollins. Number two, LA Knight. Yeah! And number one, you had the NWO shirt, which is insane to think that, that group is still selling merch. LA Knight, y'all.